right guys i ain't done a little video in a while welcome back we're currently just walking through what is this port slade would you say yeah walk to port slade currently just gonna go down to the tackle shop get some bait psych a couple joints catch a few fish a few weeks a lovely lovely saturday morning just want to get out and have a bit of fun with you mate yeah you know um anything big really i don't know i think shit what species is gonna go get greg's then i need to rent a fucking brighton bike strap all this to it yeah, this is the new plan yeah it's because his car is fucked it's not r.i.p to the driving days though because he's gonna get a new car just for fishing isn't it you're gonna get a little fishing thing up yeah you may as well son that is cheap running in the meantime so i can save up some money for a, a proper nice car mm. um, and yeah once i get a, another nice car i'll just keep the two have the one to fish in and one for every day you know jeez i'm looking forward to it it's gonna take a little while that's gonna be fucking worth it, bro. Mate, you know, it's gonna be worth it, Giza. It's gonna be so worth it. Boys, you're gonna love it this year, mate. That dinger is gonna take us on several fucking trips. In it, come on. Mate, Chesil, Cornwall, something, you Everywhere. name it, we're going. It's happening. I come here last night, like 11, got the bus here. Because um, obviously I'm in Brighton, he's in, in well, Port Slade, so. A bit of a trek. Fairly long, isn't it? Yeah, it's fucking long, mate. Half our bus journey. Not the one, mate. Especially when we were so blitzed yesterday. Yeah, isn't it? Trust me. We yeah. were just... Oh, mate. Oh, dear. I've tried. I haven't been on that since I was in town. <laughs> you got quite a lot to damn, didn't you? Went a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then the time before that was a month or two ago with me. Yeah, we went in December, didn't we? Yeah. Was only eight. Well, yeah, I've probably been twice in the last six months. <laughs> That's good, though, mate. I've been a couple of places in between as well, you know. Getting the like, blazing sessions in, mate. Right, you've got to get the holidays in, man. Otherwise, what do you work for? In it. Excuse me, mate, is there more fresh lug in here? Or? Uh, fresh lug, no. No. Have we got more fresh lug? Yeah, I think. Yeah, we've got some. Can I get a couple wraps, please? Two wraps. Yeah, yeah, go on. Cheers, mate, thank you. Thank you very much, mate. Have a nice day. Get two wraps. Two wraps, two weights and two rigs and they're 20 quid. I'm gonna go in the shop quick. Do you want anything from a uh, shop? Who's uh, that? My mate Finley. Oh. He was out fishing yesterday. Didn't clock out his in. What do you want from there? So I was gonna get a Brighton bike and just cycle along to the arm, put the fishing rod on that with the um, cord things I have in there. Problem is, cost fucking £10 an hour, mate, on them bikes, pretty much. Fucking absolute rip off. So I'm having to get an Uber. Aiden's just gonna meet me there. It's a banging day. You can tell by the turbines that it's not too windy either. So the arm's over there, we're at 15 minute walk from Carrots Cafe. Feels like all morning I've been trying to get to this spot. Fucking hell. Finally got here. I can see about 50 rods on the fucking end of it. Better be catching fish today, I tell you that. Fishing to bait. Jeez, bro. It's looking dang. Flounder. You ragging it up, yeah? Yeah, ragging it up. Oh, I'm gonna get the rod set up. No, I can't even see, mate. Oh, huh? Ah? Well, Rod set up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, fucking fish will come. It's a nice day, though, so. 
hopefully uh, get a few. It is so sunny, I literally cannot even see. Um, I think it's time to invest in some glasses. Sunglasses, mate. Yeah, it's been out there for about 10 minutes. Yes, mate. Nothing. Chef in two baked. <laughs> Same. Rods are out. It's a lovely day. Just got casted up. Very fucking annoying. But other than that, it's brilliant. I, know, I don't know how that happened, mate. I've got all three. Well, bear in mind. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. It went over seven rods. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like, you know, A must be Harry Potter, innit? it? <laughs> it's just fucking witchcraft about him. Uh, we a minute, Patsy Brown. Yeah, he's got rag. I'm using lug. I'm using a one hook, one down, quite a big hook, size three, I think. I'm just using this. I've fortunately got to use a crappy reel as I lost my other one. Don't know where that went. So, unfortunately, I'm using the old one. It's not very good at all. It's, it's pretty cheap. But that one's all right. It'll do. And this bad boy. I've got an up and over, actually. Jeez, look at that setup. Man's even got a fucking little wooden little knobble thing, mate. Jeez. Yeah, so it's a lovely, it's a lovely setup. This one. Yeah, it's great. Lovely. Um, yeah, that's just got an up and over on that one. Double lug. That's just a single pulley trace. A couple of beads and uh, both size three hooks. So quite big, but we don't want a little fish. Would not be sitting there, mate. <laughs> That was like a skin fade, mate. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. <laughs> literally, bro. Oh, you did. Well, we'll let you know if we catch anything. Baiting up here. We're going to go for the rag and a bit of manky lug at the bottom just to give it a bit of scent. I'm just getting bored here, so I'll try all different things. If I don't get anything next time, I'm going to whack on a flapper, smaller hooks, and we're going to. It's got caught around the bottom of my weight right now. Go. That's it, mate. But yours truly. They do. Wait's coming soon. Nice one, mate. Flounder in a place now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but ideally, obviously, there's quite a lot of people here, but when there's not, you'd want to be on the end bit down there. That's where we normally go, as you've seen on our first episode. Of, um, local tips, mate. It's a good, good little sandbank off the end of there, about 100 yards out. So. You can hit that sandbank on the top left of the arm that you're in the clip. Yeah, there are some really good, really good sandbanks out there you can hit. They reckon they're great for rays at night time in the summer. Which I haven't had the time to try yet, but membership's just come through. So yeah, you know, come on. A lot of that this year. A lot of, a lot of different types of fishing as well. We get them mm. float a lot more. Trying new stuff. We'll be getting in the videos more, mate. Of course. Fishing too great. <laughs> So there's some red rag here. There's a couple peelers as well. Towards summer they tend to get a bit bigger. That was by uh, your man Eddie over here. Yeah. Got some peelers as well. Lovely stuff. Right, so still no bites. Been here about 45 minutes. I've casted twice, so I'm gonna cast one more time. Again, I've put a fucking full lug on each hook. So one up, one down, size three hooks. Three O's. Three O's. And then obviously I've got this weight as well. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully I'll catch a little place or something. There's been quite a lot of flat fishing caught down there. I'll put some more rag out. Yeah. Ooh, it's I'll going. Put peeler legs out. Peeler legs, come on. Me, Mixture of bait, mate. Rag, lug, peeler legs. Something's getting caught. Now, nice. good cast. Let it sink a little bit, reeling slowly. 
walk back a tiny bit as well. Let the weight dig into the sand. There you go. Yeah, just breaking up some rag. Might put another one on actually. My man caught a fucking five and a half pound cod off a frozen lug. <laughs> in it, that's jammy. Especially in the year they work in, but... Yeah, innit? <laughs> They're not even in yet, and man gets one. It must have been like an ill cod or something. Mate, Mate why are you catching ill fish, bruv? Better than not catching any, isn't it, Jay? Yeah, well, I'm just going to cut that bit out, mate. They're so bad, I hate them. Because mm. they bite you in that, innit? And they just... I don't like touching the wriggly ones, mate. That's why I put them on a bait needle like this. They just chill. Bait needles are so easy, bro. You should probably get yourself one. Mm. I bought one at ages ago in the Isle of Wight and lost it. Yeah, they're really easy to lose, to be fair. I probably lost about two or three. Guys on the hook, nice, I don't know. Lovely. Presentation, that's great. Nice. I'm not going to have too far, though. Ten pounds as a catch of fish before you, Jay. And a zoo. Just do a gram then instead. Say that. Right. But you've got two rods. What's your point? You're gonna choose one. Left or right? You may as well choose that one because it's next to mine. That's what I'm thinking. Questions, questions, questions. Decisions, decisions. Quickly. I'm gonna go right. Alright, say nothing. If that one gets a bite, mate. <laughs> That'll be jokes. I'm gonna go for the right one because I'm about to rebate it. Wait, so is it Ted out of grab or just a grab? Just a grab. Say less. Can't wait to take this off you. <laughs> the fuck is going on here? Good luck. I thought these fish had to be sent to the end of the yard. Nice, mate. It's at the end of the yard, isn't it? Yeah. That's right there. You're getting a lot in each trap? Yeah, about 10. We've put a lot back, the bigger ones. And there's some females, a load of eggs. We've just put them back as well. Now, you want one for bait? Get one. Yeah. Well, some more in a minute. They're all, all hardbacks, are they? Or any peelers in there? I haven't really checked them, to be honest with you. No. Yeah, fair enough, mate. There probably is a few amongst there, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. It's got to be. Would have thought so. Yeah. Getting near that time of year. Yeah, to be fair, mate, let us know you get on. I've got some cash in me. I can always give you some cash and we've got a few little ones. Yeah, that's a nice one. Just had a tiny little knock. So I could be winning a free gram off Aiden, we'll have to see. Not too much activity now though, I'm probably just going to read it in and just see if there's something on it anyway. Aiden's just fail hooked. The face, man. Bless him. Not a bad one, though, to be fair. That's no, alright, isn't it? Well, you're a grandma, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice little one, isn't it? Is that a lug? Straight lug, yeah. Couple now being caught. I sort of lost hope, so I decided to put like um, loads of lugs around. Bait elastic to it and chucked it out there. So there's like three or four lugs on each hook. For the Instagram. What's your IG? Uh, it's like Eddie Hazel with three L's, one three. Nice. All your fish is on there, innit? Yeah. Come on. You catch quite a lot of fish down here, don't you? Yeah. It's the only place I fish really, so. Just go and give them a fuller. That's a good spot to fish as well. Low tide, so you can like go up on there. It's good for that like, bass. Mouth hooked again. 
Nice. nice little flounder. Another little photo for the gram. Yeah. Two nil then. Probably my smallest place I've ever caught in all honesty. <laughs> Literally the size of my hands. Yeah, strokes. Yeah. It's a cute one though, isn't it? It is proper cute actually. Definitely on the photo of this bad boy. Nice, two nil. Oh man, I'll call him back in a sec. Lovely, lovely funny little thing, yeah, it's a cool little thing. It's good to go back. Yay! Oh, he's dead. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And that is the end of the video guys, my camera died, um, like, comment and subscribe and share the channel to your friends.